Lokon Entertainment. آریانا افغانستان یگانه شبکه تلویزیونی ملی افغان ها در خارج از کشور This is the ultimate question for you. Are you ready to be your own boss and achieve your dreams? Liberty Business Advisors of San Francisco Inc. is a full-service business consulting and brokerage firm specializing in small to medium-sized businesses. At Liberty Business Advisors, our professionals include lawyers, accountants, realtors who have years of experience in selling and marketing business opportunities. Call Business Advisors for free consultation if you're thinking about selling or planning buying a new business. Call us at 925-932-2450. Visit us on our website, lbaweb.com, or follow us on Facebook. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Well, welcome to Business Advisors 101. Uh, my name is Barmal Grand. Uh, uh, good evening. Uh, my name is Olive Behashti. Uh, before anything, uh, Barma, I'll go ahead and tell our viewers a little bit about the Money Watch. Sure. Uh, uh, so, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to start with the Money Watch segment. Uh, today, uh, from what I saw uh, with the Dow Jones Industrial Average, it climbed about 103 points. Uh, so the market at one time reached uh, close to 16,687, which was a new high uh, for a, a record high for the market. And the same goes to S&P 500 because S&P 500 reached around 1894, eclipsing the previous high of uh, 1890. So all of this looks good for the market, mm -hmm. and uh, so uh, it's always good when the market is up. Absolutely. Everybody's happy. Everybody's happy. Um, so tell us, I know you found some updates on the um, job market. Yes, actually the April numbers came out, and, um, and we saw some good things, but uh, once you dissect the whole situation, I think you see we're still having some issues with the labor market. Um, uh, so the, the economy is adding jobs, which is mm -hmm. good, Olive, um, mm -hmm. um, and so we're seeing recovery as you know, yes, it's it supposed is. to be. Mm -hmm. But the labor force participation, which is actually the working age population willing to work, has dropped to about 62.8%. Uh, from 67 percent because wow. before the uh, 2008 mm -hmm. crash uh, the labor force participation was at 67 percent so what that means is that that a lot of people are either leaving um, uh, just automatically they dropped out of the system mm -hmm. or they stopped looking for jobs mm -hmm. or they might have gone to school or they might just go from, from one job or to another job retired. perhaps <laughs> yes that's part of it too All right. um, so uh, so that's basically mm -hmm. a good indicator that people are kind of puzzled they're saying why did the labor force participation mm -hmm. has dropped to about 62 percent from a 67 percent from a few years ago. Mm -hmm. um, now, one of the other key numbers that we have to look at is like more than 10 million Americans are still unemployed. Mm -hmm. uh, about three million have been unemployed uh, for more than six months. Mm -hmm. um, so this is not good. Mm -hmm. uh, about seven and a half, seven and a half million Americans are still stuck in part-time jobs because they couldn't find a uh, full-time job. Mm -hmm. um, and this is where the you you're gonna ask me. Uh, where you know where are where are the people you know, where people are working you know what what areas and what areas yeah, of the market you know yeah, sectors. What areas are working? So the, the so what we're looking at is 35,000 jobs were added in the retail sector. Uh, 33,000 jobs were added in the food services. Mm -hmm. um, but as you know, most of these jobs are low-paying jobs, mm -hmm. and and the rest went to like temporary or contract work and also construction work. Mm -hmm. um, so in terms of real organic growth that you want to see in a real recovery, mm -hmm. we're still not seeing it uh, mm -hmm. in terms of the what the market is telling us, what the job market is telling us. Mm -hmm. So, but some of the experts are saying that by 2016 we should be almost in a full recovery mode. Mm -hmm. But the key question is, is whether are we still going to have our wages to go up? You know, because the wages have remained flat for the so, for so many years, and or whether real jobs, meaning like real full-time jobs, are going to come and, and good-paying jobs versus these temporary work and contract work. 
So like you said, maybe by 2016 things will get better. Yes. And we'll be more solid, better position. So tell us a little bit about the social media stocks. Yes, as you know, Olive, uh, you're very much uh, <laughs> I know you're very busy very with uh, Twitter, with now. Twitter yes, now. Yes, you can follow hey, all of on Twitter. Follow me on Twitter. Uh, she's on Facebook. I'm uh, all about tweets. Uh, <laughs> yes, and, and LinkedIn as well. <laughs> uh, but as you know, social media stocks, they, they were like the darling of Wall Street for mm -hmm. a while, but then because of the valuation everything, they have taken a beating uh, in the last few uh, few months. Mm -hmm. uh, actually, Twitter, uh, at one time when it came out, it reached as high of $75 per share, mm -hmm. but it's now down to about $34. Ouch. So yeah, so I think it's because of you. As soon as you join Twitter, I think it, uh, it seems like that could be the it's problem. Me. <laughs> but Facebook uh, also, at uh, one time it reached seventy-two dollars. So Facebook is around sixty dollars now. Mm -hmm. uh, LinkedIn uh, uh, was uh, two fifty-seven at one time, and now it's down to about one hundred fifty-one dollars. Uh, so mm -hmm. uh, things are, you know, kind of mm -hmm. like uh, mm -hmm. maybe a lot of investors in Wall Street mm -hmm. think that some of these stocks have gone up to way too mm -hmm. far. And maybe uh, the prices are, t you know, they're too high. Uh, so who knows? But uh, that's what the that's social what media update for you. All so, right. so Olive, now it's your turn. Now you're going to give us some updates in terms of. Um, so what do you have for the viewers? Uh, well, I just want to give an update from last week's um, a guest that we had, uh, Rokhshana John Benesh, that came from Tana charity organization. Um, she just called earlier and she gave us a really good news that um, they're doing, they're still in Badakhshan uh, uh, and they're gonna, going to stay there for another three days. Uh, Badakhshan is doing really good. They're, um, they got a lot of from all the organizations that helped from different parts of the world. Um, they got their food and they're working on shelters, so things look good in Badakhshan. But uh, from Pana organization, there's a message that they're going to be there for another three days. If anybody would like to still uh, pay some donations, they're still going to be for another three days. So um, go ahead and do your part. Go ahead and send us an email, or if you have Pana organization's email, or uh, their phone number, go ahead and call them and make your donation. And uh, one more thing, uh, we got we an got, uh, email from a very interesting group actually. It's called Khurasan Youth Organization from Holland. Uh, this young group of students, they got together and they, um, they organized a concert for, <coughs> excuse me, for, again for Badakhshan. Yes. Um, and for uh, information, I'm going to go ahead and give, your, uh, give their number so you could contact them. Their phone number is 316-850-56736. And um, they have four singers from Holland, and they're based on Amsterdam. And I believe the concert is in Amsterdam. I'm not sure, but you could go ahead and call them at that number or send us an email. We'll get you more information. So that was my update. Well, thank you so much for sharing mm -hmm. your update. So, uh, ladies and gentlemen, actually, we're going to go ahead and take a quick break. But the, once we come back, we're going to actually introduce our first guest. Um, she's a financial advisor. Her name is uh, uh, Uli uh, Kapu. I, I yes. hope I, s I didn't butcher the name. <laughs> but anyway, um, she works with Transamerica. So she's going to come and share, uh, sit down with us and talk a few minutes about, uh, you know, the world of financial planning. Thank you so much. This is the ultimate question for you. Are you ready to be your own boss and achieve your dreams? Liberty Business Advisors of San Francisco, Inc. is a full-service business consulting and brokerage firm specializing in small to medium-sized businesses. At Liberty Business Advisors, our professionals include lawyers, accountants, realtors, who have years of experience in selling and marketing business opportunities. Call Business Advisors for free consultation if you're thinking about selling or planning buying a new business. Call us at 925-932-2450. Visit us on our website, lbaweb.com, or follow us on Facebook. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the show, um, a business advisor. Um, so, Olive, we're going to go and introduce our first uh, guest, uh, Ms. Oli Kufu, and she works for Transamerica. She's a financial advisor, 
And uh, so, um, uh, Ms. Kafu, uh, good evening and good evening. welcome to the show. Thank you for having me. Thank you for having me. Olaf? Uh, well, do you want to introduce yourself more than anything? Yes, yes. Um, my name is actually uh, Taufa Uliafu Kefu. And yeah, can you say that again? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> That's why I go by Uli for short. Sure. Um, but uh, I've been in the industry. I'm actually uh, a financial advisor now. I've been in the industry going on a decade. And uh, previously coming into this industry, I originally was in customer service, retail management. I've always been in an industry where I was just interacting with a lot of people. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'll tell you, I was introduced to financial services mainly because in a management position, um, I was still at a point where I was living paycheck to paycheck. Um, I had more money going out than coming in. I don't know if you know any people like that, but that was my situation. Mm -hmm. yes. And a friend of mine was able to introduce me to this business where I was able to learn how to just get my finances together. Mm -hmm. And one of the things that stood out to me was the fact that not only personally is it that I needed help, I knew a lot of people around me that were in the same situation I was in. And I fell in love with the fact of just being able to teach people about money, teaching people about financial literacy which is my passion now. I've been in the industry now going on 10 years, and I love the fact that we're able to make a difference literally in people's lives, which is what I'm focused on doing. Um, so, Ole, I uh -huh. love saying it your name. <laughs> <laughs> Ole, do you want to describe uh, the company you're working yeah. with right now? Uh, with our company, the great thing is um, I am independent. Uh, however, I represent mm -hmm. over 200 different investment and insurance companies. Mm -hmm. um, some of the biggest names out there from Fidelity, Prudential, ING, mm -hmm. uh, obviously Transamerica, we're able to shop around and make sure we have the right fit for our clients so we're not captive in any way. Mm -hmm. um, we help areas, or I should say we help families in all areas of finance from retirement planning, investments, insurance, um, college planning, debt consolidation. Uh, we also specialize in, um, in retirement planning for companies, so we, we also deal with big corporations. But uh, we offer a wide array of products, everything and anything under the sun that deals with money we can help a family with. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. So I actually just wanted to say uh, briefly that um, PJ, who actually works for Liberty Business Advisor, and uh, this, as we have always uh, mentioned, um, you, you, uh, Liberty Business Advisor of San Francisco is a major sponsor of this show. Mm -hmm. So uh, unfortunately, we couldn't get anybody from Liberty Business Advisor, but and PJ was sick. So PJ was kind enough to actually introduce uh, us to you because you are actually collaborating with right. PJ in terms of a business partnership where uh, eventually you're going to be referring him, hopefully some clients mm -hmm. that could actually be looking for businesses, and that's where Liberty Business Advisor comes in. So, um, so let's talk about this fact of about collaboration and partnership and why is this important in our kind of business and what oh, we in, in, in the world of being an entrepreneur and kind of running your own shop I, I think that's what it's all about it, yeah. it's um, you know they say sometimes it's not about what you know it's who you know mm -hmm. and I think in a business like this in an industry where we're all trying to focus on improving ourselves and, and, and uh, helping each other out which I know is one of the values and the core things that is that you guys want to do especially in your community mm -hmm. um, it's important to know who does what and how it is that we can all help each other because at the end of the day um, I always have a philosophy if I can help you get to where you go where you want to go ultimately I'll get to where I want to go and I know that's something it is obviously PJ is a, a great friend of mine and I've been helping him he's been helping me and as, mm -hmm. as well as it's also a partnership that I'd love to have also with you guys where we can all help each other whether it's in the financial sector or if it's in the business entrepreneur sector, we all um, we all Absolutely. win. We all win in okay. that in that area. And so your so your niche product and service that you're focused on. I know I was a financial advisor mm -hmm. with Merrill Lynch at one time, so I, I know that uh, there's a wide uh, range of uh, different products and services you can focus in, right. but you can't really focus on everything so right. you only focus on few things right. and and that's where you master your art you know you become like a you know you master your art yeah, you know definitely. Uh, so definitely. what about yours I mean what are you focusing on I'll tell you right now um, in this day and age you're, you're looking at a time where you have the the biggest population right now retiring and we're talking about baby boomers yes you've got 80 million people that will be soon leaving the workforce that are already leaving the workforce mm -hmm. and so with that I used to think that the biggest fear that most baby boomers had at this time and age was death Yes. Mm -hmm. um, however, what I've learned is that they're actually, their biggest fear is actually uh, uh, losing their income or, or not enough mm -hmm. income stream. Yes. And so what we specialize mainly, what I try to focus on, is making sure that we can guarantee that the baby boomers or people entering into retirement can have an income stream for life. 
um, and providing that security. However, we also specialize in tax-free retirements. What I found a lot of people have a lot of taxable accounts and you know they say there's two things guaranteed in life, death and taxes, and we focus on <laughs> helping people avoid taxes legally mm -hmm. and we specialize in that too, tax-free retirements as well as offering guarantees on investments. So um, those are definitely things that we're helping families with, especially with the market crash. A lot of people aren't necessarily interested in learning about growth on their investments. They want to make sure, hey, Uli, what I have in there, can we make sure that it stays there? Yes. If I have 100 grand, can you guarantee that we can have that at the end of the day? And, and that's some of the things that we specialize in is giving people guarantees, tax for retirement, as well as um, providing income streams for life for people entering into retirement. That's awesome. So, um, uh, Ole, that's all beautiful. Mm -hmm. You give me a lot of ideas now. But um, do you want to tell us a success story? Yeah, you know what? Um, one of the things that is, uh, and there's a lot of different success mm -hmm. stories. Um, we were just talking about um, the crash. And mm -hmm. uh, a lot of people it is, I'm sure we all know people that have 401Ks and are investing mm -hmm. in their 401Ks, which I like to call now 201Ks ever mm -hmm. since the crash. Um, but a, a gentleman it is that I, I've been helping with, um, that I met with a couple of years ago after the market crashed. Um, just today we actually went over his statement, has had over literally over 75, close to almost 80 percent growth in his investments um, mm -hmm. that we're recouping from what he's already lost, um, mm -hmm. as well as not to mention uh, we're also helping him earn additional income. And so there's a lot of different ways that, that we're able to help people. Some of the success stories that I think um, we have is just giving people plans. Mm -hmm. You know, most people don't plan to fail, they fail to plan. And uh, that's one of the main things it is that I've learned here in this industry is how is it that I can come and benefit a family? Well, first and foremost, what we want to do is have a conversation about finance, which most people don't have. Mm -hmm. And uh, we put to be together complimentary financial plans for every family we sit down with and give them options as far as what they're able to do to move ahead financially. And so I think first and foremost, that's the main important thing is let's have a plan in place and uh, what separates us, I believe, from the competition is just making sure that we're helping them follow that plan mm -hmm. um, is our main focus. And one of the things that I noticed in our community, you know, when I was a financial advisor when I was at Merrill Lynch, that our community uh, tends to be um, really not up to par when it comes to financial planning. Uh, either they don't get it or they don't feel uh, the need for uh, for financial planning. Right. And um, the second and third generation are far much better because, they, because, as I said, they're more involved with their companies through 401Ks and stuff like that. Um, so what, what is it, um, uh, what do you specifically, when you're looking for clients, what is the most, uh, the, one of the most important things about being a financial advi advisor, the, the, yeah. the, the most important thing about being a financial advisor? I'll, I'll tell you personally, I believe it's, it's communication. And when I say communication, it's being able to build relationships with our clients, um, not necessarily just calling them when the market's great and when it's doing, a, you know, everything's up, but yet it's also during the down times. How many people are able to communicate with their clients and hold their hand through the whole process? And I've, I've learned and through my success in the business, it, it has been through building those relationships with my clients. I'm in here for the long haul. I'm not necessarily just focused on you, but we're also focused on helping your children and helping the children after that. And this is a long-term relationship, and that's really what I believe. It's not, you know, we say it's not how much you know, but it's people don't care how much you know, but how much you care. And it really is about building relationships with our clients. I'm not just here to sell you a product and, you know, hi bye, but it's really, you know, we're going to keep this relationship going as long as it is that you're my client. And I think that's what separates successful advisors from, I should say, the not so successful advisors um, is that constant communication. I think that's huge, and I, I try to make sure it is. I'm abreast of all my clients and making sure that we're all in the loop or at least that they're being attended to as well. And um, I'm I'm thinking, I'm assuming that based on such a good, passionate work you're putting towards this, that most of your client comes from referrals. Oh, but yeah. what other ways that you would do? Um, you know what? Um, uh, yeah, you're right. Uh, my main bread and butter has always been referrals. Mm -hmm. um, but, but just as we were talking about earlier, it is about networking. It is about putting your name out there. It is about... Um, building relationships with other people and different businesses and letting them know, hey, and, and, and introducing yourself and making your services available. Absolutely. But um, we don't cold call. We don't have to knock on doors. A uh, majority of our business has been through word of mouth, and we believe that's one of the best ways it is to go. And, and uh, obviously that's also how it's referred to you guys. And so that's mainly how it is. If I know if I treat this one family or this one client correctly, of course, he's also going to be able to expose mm -hmm. and, and introduce me to uh, his market, and that's ideally how it is that we've been able to 
to stay afloat and, and keep this business going and, and mm -hmm. share this information. Yeah. So um, why is it important for someone like yourself who's a financial advisor to uh, come and and be part of this show? Right. Because uh, as you as we talked about this afternoon, we kind of told you a little bit about what we were about and what we're doing. Right. And so why is it important to have shows like this and why is it important for people like yourself to uh, come in and, and, uh, and support uh, shows like this? I, I, I uh, I'll tell you, one of the main reasons why I wanted to be in this industry was to serve underserved families, um, middle-income families, just families that we feel have been underserved, especially being a minority group. Mm -hmm. And uh, and I know that's what you guys stand for, and obviously bringing education to mm -hmm. the Afghan and the Persian market um, is huge. And that's a, a market it is that is untapped mm -hmm. um, and that needs this information. It's not just... You know, I, you know, they say the rich get richer, the poor get poor, and if we can bring all this information to every walk of life, mm -hmm. it doesn't really necessarily matter what your background is, but I love the fact of what you guys stand for, because truthfully that's what I stand for personally, um, is just being able to educate people financially with regards to their mm -hmm. options and, and let them know that uh, they too have a voice and they too have options. And especially in this community, as well as in my communities, just in inner communities, um, people got to know that that there are companies, that there are options out there for them, especially financially, that can help There's them get to where they want to go. Yeah, Definitely. absolutely. And so just uh, for our viewers, uh, if you want to contact uh, uh, Ms. Kafush, her number is 650-520-9724. Once again, it's 650-520-9724. And any final thoughts? Uh? Um, one, I appreciate, and I, I definitely appreciate you guys inviting me here to be able to, to be a part of your show. Um, I'll tell you, uh, as I tell most families, um, you know, if anything, what amazes me is that most people, we get up every single day and, and drive through traffic on our way to work and drive through traffic on our way home for a paycheck. And rarely is it ever that we ever find out what to do with that paycheck. And a lot of times we make mistakes. And some of those mistakes are easily correctable. Some of those mistakes sometimes take a lifetime to correct. Mm -hmm. And here it is, uh, or at least what I specialize in, is we put together complementary financial plans to give you options to let you know that um, you can have help. And we, we specialize in a lot of different areas financially. And if there's any way that we can help you, please take us up on our offer. Obviously, my information is listed um, because I believe if, if we can all get ahead uh, financially, then we can all, you know, live the, the, the lives it is that we aspire to, whether that's in business, whether that's financially, mm -hmm. whether that's in your family. I think money is a, a huge part of that, and we need to have this conversation more. And that's so, all, that's yeah. awesome. So, um, ladies and gentlemen, so actually we, we're going to conclude this segment. So thank you so much for being with us. Thank you. And hopefully we'll we see you uh, shortly uh, with some more updates. Uh, so thank you again, uh, Ms. Kafu, for yes. coming. And so, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to go ahead and take a quick break, and then we're going to come back and introduce our uh, Partners, partner, uh, Webmaster, LLC. Webmaster LLC. So we're going to actually uh, bring in uh, the three gentlemen from uh, this company mm -hmm. uh, who's going to partner with us, and it's gonna, they're going to do a lot of great things uh, for the show and for uh, with some other things, exactly. some other ideas. Mm -hmm. so, so we'll be right back. Thank you so much. This is the ultimate question for you. Are you ready to be your own boss and achieve your dreams? Liberty Business Advisors of San Francisco, Inc. is a full-service business consulting and brokerage firm specializing in small to medium-sized businesses. At Liberty Business Advisors, our professionals include lawyers, accountants, realtors who have years of experience in selling and marketing business opportunities. Call Business Advisors for free consultation if you're thinking about selling or planning buying a new business. Call us at 925-932-2450. Visit us on our website, lbaweb.com, or follow us on Facebook.
Uh, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the show, uh, Business Advice 101. And uh, right now, in this segment, uh, we're very delighted to introduce our partners, Webmaster LLC, that we just came to an agreement that we're going to be working uh, together going forward. And so without uh, further ado, I'm going to introduce the gentleman that are you're going to see with us, uh, Chad, Mr. Chad Elson, the CEO of the company. Uh, Mr. Walter Taylor, um, he's, he's called the bridge, uh, <laughs> so he's going to describe what that means. Mm -hmm. And then also we're going to have a gentleman by the name of Joe Gennaro, an interesting character. We love him. But anyways, <laughs> Olive, go ahead. Um, I'm just uh, interested and I just want to say that I was so, as Barmal knows, that I strongly believe social media. Uh, I count on Facebook, really? and Twitter, and LinkedIn, but since I met these guys, our partners, now I'm thinking twice because there's something that could be big beyond and above social media. So we're going to go ahead and start with Chad. Chad, go ahead and introduce yourself. I'm Chad Elson, uh, CEO of Webmasters LLC, and, and uh, our company does search engine optimization, mm -hmm. web design, video. Um, everything pertaining to digital advertising. So we're excited for the partnership also. Look forward to working with all of them, Barmal, and it's really great. <laughs> That's good to know. <laughs> and, and Walter, the bridge, can you uh, tell us uh, who, what are you, what are you, who are you? Um, my name is uh, Walt Taylor. Uh, I'm, on, I'm known as the bridge. Uh, what that means is that I help get you from where you are to where you need to be. Really, it's just really that simple. And what we do at uh, Webmasters LLC is uh, help people move into the digital age. We're in a new age now. You know, there was the uh, there was the Gilded Age, the uh, Information Age. There was the you know the farming farming age. But now we're in the digital age. And Webmasters helps uh, companies, individuals, you know, small and large, uh, transform their business and reach more customers and uh, make their businesses grow. Mm, so uh, I guess uh, that brings us to uh, to the part that uh, you all remember that we brought uh, Sharifa Raouf uh, from House of Couture uh, a few weeks ago here to the show, and she's actually working with uh, with the, um, with Webmasters uh, LLC. So um, as Walter said, uh, could be big business, it could be small business. They will, um, as he's the bridge. He will help you get to the next level. So I guess at this point, we would like to, or our viewers would like to know, um, when was the company established? The company's new, but everybody's <coughs> experience. Mm -hmm. um, been doing lead generation and marketing, advertising for mm -hmm. 17 years. Mm -hmm. um, helped a lot of companies grow uh, mm -hmm. in the beginning. And kind of the great thing about it is to start from the beginning or even taking a company that's struggling and turning it around. We like building those kinds of things. We love those kinds of projects because we like to show the success mm -hmm. and what we bring to the table. Absolutely. And uh, so uh, so there's two questions, one for you and one, one for Mr. Bridge. <laughs> um, <laughs> so um, what inspired you to start this company, Chad? And, and, and I know there's a personal story of you shared with us about two years ago that sort of like changed your life, if you don't mind sharing yeah. that with the viewers, because I think that that actually changed wow. your life, right? Yeah, um, basically, i uh, been a graphic designer for a long time, been a programmer for a long time, and um, kept building things, went through a near-death experience and survived it, got sick, got told that I was gonna pass on, literally by a priest while I was in the hospital, and um, still here. So it kind of inspired me to start writing these things down and I had this idea that came to me in the hospital about how companies should run their search engine campaigns, how they should have their site up, and then I just started typing. And then uh, Greg Brewer, uh, president of ProSoft, CEO of ProSoft and owner of ProSoft, um, I started sharing it with him and he was going through some issues with his search engine stuff and everything else and started working with him. And then once we started turning it around, he was shocked. He was shocked about the results we were getting, about the improvement. And then it really inspired me to say, like, wow, I could work with Greg all the time. I could put together my own team, my own family of people that I love and want to work with. And then ever since then, it's never stopped. Had a chance to meet you guys. Um, 
form a great partnership with you guys. Uh, meeting on or I mean, it's been an honor with uh, Mr. Miskiniar and everybody else. So it's been great. And uh, and tell us a little bit about your chairman, uh, Mr. Gregg, because um, when viewers find out who really he is, I think they're going to be blown away. Go ahead. He's he's done nothing but just build successful things, successful, life-changing, disrupt, uh, crazy technology, everything from working at Apple to developing certain special things at Apple. And, and like um, what? <laughs> certain special things. <laughs> it, it was, I, I heard something about, it, uh, it was something about uh, iTunes yeah, or something? Yeah, something okay. like that. So, the, so he was kind of behind iTunes. There's right? been, yeah. yeah. Well, for the real, the, real, uh, the real tech nerds, he goes all the way back to uh, Space Invaders, Yeah. the video game. That, yeah. Was that the Atari something? Yeah. yeah. Yes. Okay. He was on the team that developed that as well. So to have those to have those kind of influences mm -hmm. and those kind of mentors in our lives and to help us develop our products and to build our own software. Mm -hmm. It's great. It's a dream come true. Literally, um, ever since I came out of the hospital, every day has been more than a blessing. Every day has been an adventure. Mm -hmm. And I never know where I'm going to end up every day. <laughs> you, you, Like right here with you and How all of them. How would you end up with all of them? And we can't forget the, the fact that how beautiful and high-tech their office is. Oh, yeah, yeah. big time. We yeah. did a tour, and uh, yeah. I love the area, especially the vault. You know, yeah. you said it's, uh, you know, when you compare it to... A major bank. I was, uh, you know, you know, ten times yeah. stronger. Yeah. And, it, it, and then there's that special room, which is like 100% particle free. Mm -hmm. It almost looks like you're looking at CDC. You know, the data, um, the data rescue center is an amazing building. ProSoft Engineering makes amazing software, and we're we're going to keep going on that on that line of just building great products all the time and keep going and keep moving forward and pushing the envelope all the time. So. Walter, I think I forgot to, and we actually, what, was it, what inspired you to join this company? I know, can you tell us you were actually involved in Hollywood and you were right. doing some stuff, so if you could tell us a little bit about that and what inspired you to come along and join the Chance team. Well, my background uh, was entertainment business and uh, growing entertainment brands uh, and as a talent manager and and whatnot, and a record producer, et cetera, et cetera. Um, Chad and I are longtime friends. We were, went to school together. And uh, when Chad came together with Greg and started uh, creating the Webmasters company, he gave me, he, we reached out to me on Facebook. You know, we had, hadn't talked in a little while, and he reached out to me on Facebook and told me some of the things he was doing. And, you know, I kind of came to a crossroads. I was like, hey, well, you know, do I want to keep going with, you know, the entertainment business? which has been going down and down and down over the recent years, or can I, will I go and test my waters with some of this new technology, which I've already been playing with and developing things mm -hmm. and, like, and, the, and the like. But, uh, you know, when he told me about, you know, how he was building things and introduced me to Greg and some of the other members on the team, you know, it was just a great opportunity, I felt, to uh, move forward and, and be in the new, you know, wave of things. And that's what inspired me to come uh, along. And, and so the, the key is, so um, just once again for the viewers, so that, that way they'll know, uh, let's say I have a business, and I, it doesn't matter what, what, but what size it is. Let's say it's a small, uh, medium-sized business. Mm -hmm. um, I call Webbasters, and I say, um, well, I'm looking to brand, you know, I, I need help on my marketing. Mm -hmm. um, what, what is it exactly that you guys can help me out? So, le, 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 so how can you help me out? Well, what I like to say, what I like to tell people is, um, if you have a website, maybe maybe you have a business that has a website, maybe you don't. But a website today in the digital uh, age is sort of like a sign for your business, you know. And if a uh, business with no sign is a sign of no business, as they say. Yeah, okay. So now let's say you do have that sign, you have this website, and you just put it up on the web, but you don't do any, you know, of the you know that search engine marketing or any of that stuff that we do is like taking that sign and putting it in a storage basement nobody will see it it's hard to find you know so what webmaster specializes in is what's called search engine optimization SEO for short and that is the uh, process by which we get your website to the top of the results in Google and for search engines I mean if for now, nowadays, today's business decisions, probably about 70% of today's business decisions are started with the web search. Or if you're looking for any product, even just as an individual, you want to find the best tennis shoes, you want to buy the, find the best, you know, uh, hair product or whatever it may be, whatever the case may be, 
most of the time you're going to go to the internet and start to search. And if you're not coming up in those first uh, that first page of results, you're missing out on a lot of business, you know. Well, most of the time you don't go on the second or third. Not page at all. And, and I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure most mm -hmm. people can attest to that. Like you look at if you don't see it on that first page, maybe it doesn't mean as much. Maybe mm -hmm. it's not as important. So well, it's not as popular. We right. care about conversion. Mm -hmm. We care about um, getting our clients, our customers, our partners mm -hmm. success, and to mm -hmm. show them that success. Um, like with Data Rescue Center, we've been having the best months that the company has ever had. Um, we change the culture. Mm -hmm. yeah, when somebody's able to find their website and have other customers find their website, that's a powerful thing. That's great real estate. So whether it's on Google, Yahoo, Bing, any companies, we work towards making sure the exposure is there for those companies. Uh, you made a comment the other day when we were in a meeting um, at your office. You said that uh, it's nice that you have a website, but what does that website do for you if it's locked in a closet? Yeah, right? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> so a lot of businesses might have website, but if it's really not active, yeah. it doesn't yeah. do anything. Well, what we found is um, a lot of times if a business does have a website, maybe they uh, made the website 10 years ago mm -hmm. or so, you know, and it's time for either an update or, you know, they the technology and the uh, search, search engine business has changed, and it changes rapidly, very, very rapidly, mm -hmm. because uh, the search engines such as Google, Yahoo, Bing, etc., mm -hmm. they're in the business of pro providing relevant oh. results for your mm -hmm. search. That's what they they pride themselves on. If you look for, you know, uh, cheese, you don't want to get a bunch of results back about shoe polish. Mm. Right. Yeah. <laughs> so that's that's where those things come into play, and that's what the business is. We constantly work on making sure your site's relevant. Um, we don't have a magic button that just goes and says like, "Okay, you're here." But we take your product, and we don't just get you there. We keep you there by making sure everything's relevant, conversion tracking, analytics. We send you reports. We make sure that you're there, so you don't have to worry about it. You like, for example, with our partnership. You guys don't have to worry about the website. We worry about those things and we take care of those things and we make sure that you have your show. Yeah, we would like to uh, tell the, our viewers that um, Chad and their team, they're working on building a, a professional website for BA 101. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's coming. So, uh, and that's going to be huge and I think that's, um, that's very important for our community because as I said, this is gonna. This is the first real business show that the community ever had in terms of what the scope of the project is and what we're trying to accomplish. Because we're not just focusing on our Afghans and Persians and let's say, but we're focusing on non-Afghans and companies like yourself to come in and tell your stories and share it with our uh, with our viewers. And 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 I think it's it, it, it connects. It, then you see like you know like for instance, uh, you lived in Fremont and w Walter Absolutely. lived in Fremont and Fremont. Mm -hmm. Fremont is like known like the little co like another little Kabul, you know. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, so so and also you shared some information on how important because you had some Afghan friends in oh, school. Oh yeah, Absolutely. yeah. We and that that had a you had a great always uh, had a great impression about the Afghan always. people and you oh, actually yeah. told me about maybe one day. Down the road, we will go uh, to not only Dubai, but maybe perhaps we go to Afghanistan and see uh, Traveling the country. Traveling with you is an adventure. <laughs> Going to a restaurant <laughs> with you <laughs> is a great adventure. So, so um, like like I said before, we never know where we're going to end up together. We're always going to end up in places together, and it's it's a great relationship. For I just have to make a little comment here. I'm just thinking that uh, when I Googled earlier, we're looking for the Avon on restaurant and they're closed on Monday. So all of a sudden we're like, oh my God, where are we going to go? So I Googled Afghan restaurant and a bunch of restaurants uh, came on the first page. Now, if you have a restaurant that you want it to stay on the first page of Google, because a lot of people don't know the name of the restaurant, they're just going to Google Afghan restaurant. Now, if you want to stay on the first page, then you want to contact well, you you have to, you have to, uh, We have to elaborate on something. Um, uh, Webmaster uh, LLC, basically they have a proprietary software that beats Google in its own game. So basically they're able to come uh, get you on top of Google. So because Google basically always shows the, the, the three, four companies 
uh, and they will get the major traction. But what Webmaster LLC does is to get you on top of Google, and basically, so in essence, they're beating uh, Google's monopoly. You can say it in a quote unquote, something we, like that. We make sure your web pages are indexed and loved by Google. Yeah. We don't like to say we beat them at their own game. We use Google, and we we follow their rules, mm -hmm. and um, we make sure there's no kind of cheating the system. Yeah. We just make sure that your site is delivered in every way that Google and every other search engine loves. And we always keep pushing that envelope to find out like, okay, are you on Google Plus? Are you on Facebook? Are you on Twitter? Mm -hmm. I know all is on Twitter. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> every day she has a uh, bunch of new followers. Yeah, I tweet, tweet. Tweet. So, <laughs> so what we've done that's, that's special about our way is we, we're a software company that works on the web. And we take our own proprietary software, and then we also have our other software, our other systems that we combine together and kind of make uh, almost like the kebabs that we just had. We just put a lot of mixes of flavors and systems together to, to help everything that. rise up. Uh, that's great. So um, I, I think what we should do is like we should actually take another quick break because um, then we're going to bring another gentleman uh, from the company, uh, Mr. Joe Gennaro, and uh, another, <laughs> he's a great character and a part of the whole team, and, and since we couldn't all fit in the same um, uh, screen, screen <laughs> so that's why we decided, okay, let's go ahead and take another break, and then we're going to actually bring Joe also to continue on with this conversation. So we're going to take a quick break, <laughs> and we'll be right back. Thank you. Bye. <laughs> I'm going to... This is the ultimate question for you. Are you ready to be your own boss and achieve your dreams? Liberty Business Advisors of San Francisco, Inc. is a full-service business consulting and brokerage firm specializing in small to medium-sized businesses. At Liberty Business Advisors, our professionals include lawyers, accountants, realtors who have years of experience in selling and marketing business opportunities. Call Business Advisors for free consultation if you're thinking about selling or planning buying a new business. Call us at 925-932-2450. Visit us on our website, lbaweb.com, or follow us on Facebook. Business Advisors 101. Now we're going to continue on with our conversation with Webmaster LLC, our new partners that are going to help me uh, and Olive and our show mm -hmm. uh, in terms of creating a brand new website and, and, and doing other things as well for us. Um, so um, uh, anyway, so we have another gentleman uh, uh, that you are seeing on the screen, Mr. Joe Gennaro. Welcome to the show. Thank you very much. Um, thank both of you, Olive and uh, Romo, for having me on the show tonight. Great opportunity. Um. We have to tell our viewers, Joe is the one that actually brought all of us together. Uh, kind of like the godfather. <laughs> 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 me being me being known as the queen of networking, I network everywhere. So we're sitting in a restaurant, an Italian lounge in Fremont at Massimo's. We're just chilling. I must have given my business card to Joe. And I got a call from Joe and an email, and we decided to meet, and that's where I'll Started, Great right? opportunity. Mm -hmm. So, Joe, um, uh, can you tell us a little bit about your, uh, your, uh, a little bit about per something about your life, about you know your background, and then what inspired you to join uh, this company? I was um, born back in the uh, Midwest, uh, Wisconsin. Green Bay fan. Sorry, folks. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but it was um, I had an opportunity to come out here and work in the logistics business with my father, and it was a great opportunity. But the logistics business has always been a business that's been somewhat behind um, on the technology world, as you could say. And I spent about oh, 35, 40 years in that business. And I had an opportunity to um, you know, sell my business and look at a few other avenues to travel. And I was very fortunate. Um, I had a new neighbor move in, and it was Greg Brewer. And Greg always shared with me a lot of the um, different technologies that were coming down the pike and a lot of the different opportunities that were um, happening. And so uh, he was sharing with me about where they were going with 
uh, webmasters, and I asked them for an opportunity, and it worked out very well. So, so the, 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 so the main reason that inspired you to join this company uh, is basically the fact that Shazan not only was a, an, a great opportunity, but something that you can actually bring into the table, and which is basically from you, you, you know a lot of people, a lot of individuals. Oh, definitely. Yeah, yeah, he knows, <laughs> he knows a lot of people, right? Uh, <laughs> I've been very fortunate. Me, me and Joe could be twins, right? <laughs> uh, yeah, that's true, that's true. Well, being in the um, logistics industry, you worked with steamship companies, you worked with trucking companies, warehousing companies, food manufacturers, so you have a, a wide variety, a uh, very broad um, opportunity to meet and to work with uh, many, many wonderful people. And I've been, God has blessed me. That is awesome. Uh, well, I know Joe's a great cook. I don't know. I heard. I heard Joe's a great cook. We're going to have him over. I've got to prove myself. <laughs> yeah. you got to prove yourself. Um, do you have anything for Joe that as far as, um, I'm thinking that what is your um, something niche about you that bring you bring special to um, this group? In our industry, in the logistics industry, I've always noticed that there's always a challenge for a lot of the different uh, companies I work with to have the time to bring forth their um, quality of business to the industry. And, mm -hmm. and nobody had really a lot of time to do that. Mm -hmm. And working with so many different manufacturers and small companies, that I saw an opportunity to go to them and say, here is an opportunity, here is tomorrow. It's, it's here in my hands, and I think I can help you build your business. We want business in America. We don't want business to leave America. And if I can bring them some opportunities to increase their business, increase their payroll, increase the amount of employees, I think it's going to be a, a great tribute to um, my commitment in our country. That's awesome, and 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 Chad. So this question is for you. Um, what uh, I know your uh, your company is, is very sort of like uh, it's all about very kind of like you, uh, not too formal. When you go in there, everybody's very mm -hmm. relaxed. Um, so what do you look for your employees, and how do you keep your employees happy? Um, what do I look for in an employee? Um, first of all, being a good person, for, uh, being able to be a team player because we are a team, we're a family. Um, everybody has a position there. Um, so first of all, being able to be good to people, being able to work with people like Walt, uh, being able to make sacrifices here and there for the good of the team. But we don't really make sacrifices in a way that's that bad at all. We don't. Um, we're a family first. So innovative people that move forward that are forward thinkers like Joe and Walt and um, you guys <laughs> to be honest and, and we, uh, do, we cannot forget that they do have the cleanest room in the universe in the yeah. universe yeah. 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 Uh, that's and a million that's dollar a that's a million <laughs> dollar investment so yeah. uh, that's maybe, not a joke perhaps one day when we do a show we will go ahead and record uh, their um, their office their location and the viewers are going to see um, what what really you guys are about. It's very interesting. Um, now let's talk about the fact um, from your if, when you started this oh, this company. Give us a success story that that you've actually felt like you've uh, you worked with a client and they're so happy and now they're endorsing you to their to their network. You know. I think for sure ProSoft Engineering and having the support team there and being able to take those guys and work with them and also have them enhance my life and enhance their life. Um, also, sfjewelryandloan.com, uh, they're in San Francisco, um, they're, they're getting there, uh, it's a competitive field and we're working towards getting them where they need to go. Um, and also having the honor of, of just being able to meet Mr. Miskiniar and being able to change that thing and to be able to work for the community, to be able to work with the other Yeah, he, he was very delighted actually. Mr. Miskiniar was here in town and met uh, the Webmaster Group and Chad and them and we shared some ideas together and we're actually also going to be working to help them um, get their website to the next level as well because uh, as I feel like uh, uh, we know we're not just thinking about ourselves you know we're thinking about the whole community and for us uh, I mean Oriana TV is uh, as I said it's an international platform and we want to take them and make them uh, you know and they're international they, they need yeah. to look good and they need yeah. to look good in front of the the rest of the world that yeah. what they're about so that's what we're going to try to do and try to help them as well to and help those companies and to help um, help what people call small companies or small business, small business, and turn them into big business, um, whether it's possibly with WDM and Nasir or 
or uh, Sharifa. Sharifa is right there on top for where we need to go with her, and she's the next one that's going to be our next great success story. Yeah, I'm hoping we can do apply this also to our main sponsor, which is Liberty Business Advisors of San Francisco. They're like uh, the top commercial real estate brokerage uh, firm they've been around, and Mr. Matt Sadati, which actually is the CEO and the founder of the company, um, uh, I think would be very... Uh, um, I think you would love to hear about how we, you know, we can help uh, through this technology, how we can actually help this business in terms of generating more organic lead for the company. Now, my final question is going to be for uh, for uh, for both of you um, is the fact that why did you f uh, the, this joint bar partnership that we have with BA1 with us? Why is that important for you, and why did you feel like investing in the Afghan community is something that? Um, will help you and also and eventually help everybody in the community. I look at it like our partnership can be great on helping a segment, two segments, a new company, Webmasters, and, and the Afghan community overall to spread their net, to show their services, to open up the community to other people, and, and also just the fact that when I started talking to you guys, it really opened my eyes on some caring, good people that if I'm able to help them and help help grow things together, our team, your team, and everybody, and turn into one big family of businesses, that's what I really look forward to. I look forward to the friendships and also to be able to open up, um, open up businesses all over America and just see people succeed. Uh, at the end of the day, if people aren't succeeding, with us, we're not doing our stuff right. So that's right. what we can What about you doing? You know, I think a lot of people are not aware of the Afghan community. Um, you see, I think, more negative and positive in, in certain situations. And I think it's important that we bring forth um, the good people and the good that's in our communities. And no matter what it may be, and no matter how um, we may look at it, we need to change that image. And we need to let people really know that these are the Americans who will build this country. Yes, mm -hmm. and, and yeah, and, and a lot of Afghans, you know, are, and, uh, you know, they're successful people. They have their own businesses, and yes. they contribute towards the uh, this yeah. community and towards the small business sector. Mm -hmm. uh, they pay their taxes, and uh, you know, so they're very active individuals. So in that case, you know, we're, we're all we're all proud of that. Um, so anyway, so th what we're gonna do is like, ladies and gentlemen, this is not the first time you're gonna see these uh, these folks. They're gonna be part of the show, and hopefully down the road, we will. What we we'll do is like we're gonna have technology segments updates from uh, from your team and and uh, you guys going to help us in terms of improving the show and uh, also towards uh, how we're going to look on the on social media and mm -hmm. all of mm -hmm. that part of it all of handling our <laughs> social media yes <laughs> yes yeah. and, and, and also i think media. one thing um the being <laughs> the first show i've ever <laughs> been on um i've done very well you guys are <laughs> part of the community that like to be able to have webmasters work with business advisors 101 and you you guys are upstanding people in the community. So okay. to work with, once again, working with great people and um, <coughs> continue to break through those ceilings, break down those walls, and bring awareness to to our clients and also to certain causes. You guys do a lot of charity work and things like that, and it should be recognized. I've been very impressed. No, thank yeah. you. So uh, closing remarks before we wrap this segment. Um, we'll be back. <laughs> <laughs> You'll be back. Okay. Hey, Jeff. <laughs> uh, just really excited to get started and, and thankful. And um, if anybody needs help, um, I already know that we we could help other companies. And also, I don't need to really even pitch our website or our services because Olive and you already brought in a bunch of customers. So we're, we're doing really good, and we're thankful to have this partnership. And we're just looking forward to moving forward on what we're going to do. Thank you for being part of the show, and um, and we look forward to seeing you guys uh, on a regular basis. And thank you for investing into BA 101. And uh, so once the website is up, I think the community is going to see what you guys are about. And I think we can definitely create a benchmark for the rest of the community in terms of how to do business and how to show showcase yourself. It doesn't matter whether it's BA 101 
or Yana TV or uh, uh, the House of Couture or whoever it is down the road that we're, we're going to help. Uh, so ladies and gentlemen, we're going to actually take a quick break and then we're going to come back and do a, our closing segment and we're going to talk about briefly about uh, Fletcher Jones Motor Cars as well because we're going to have a segment that we're going to go uh, recorded this week on the 15th mm -hmm. and they're actually uh, doing a grand opening for their Porsche, for de Porsche de yeah. dealership. So we're going to take a quick break and we're going to be right back. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you. Wait. This is the ultimate question for you. Are you ready to be your own boss and achieve your dreams? Liberty Business Advisors of San Francisco, Inc. is a full-service business consulting and brokerage firm specializing in small to medium-sized businesses. At Liberty Business Advisors, our professionals include lawyers, accountants, realtors who have years of experience in selling and marketing business opportunities. Call Business Advisors for free consultation if you're thinking about selling or planning buying a new business. Call us at 925-932-2450. Visit us on our website, lbaweb.com, or follow us on Facebook. This is our final segment. We have a few more minutes left with you, and uh, right now we're going to talk about one of our other supporters and sponsors, which is the Fletcher Jones uh, Motor Cars of Fremont. And um, and uh, so we're we got we're actually going to go and record a segment for, uh, for, uh, with their grand opening of uh, their on Porsche the dealership 15th, yeah. on the 15th. Mm -hmm. And I just want to personally thank Mr. Ray, Ray uh, Wahab, Wahab, who's the general manager, and about 50, 60 percent of people that work there are are, are our, our Afghans. Afghans. Yeah. And they're one of the highest, uh, actually the rated uh, Mercedes dealership in the country. Um, so if you're looking for buying or uh, leasing or even uh, used cars, use the Mercedes Benz, please go see, um, go check them out at uh, Fletcher Jones uh, Motor Cars, Fremont. The address is 5760 Cushing Parkway, uh, Fremont, California, 94538. And their number is 510-623-111. And actually, I don't know whether uh, Khalid John can show a, a quick uh, little footage of, that we have uh, for, for them. Uh, which is actually shows the, um, they're outside of the, uh, of the, the dealership. dealership and inside. Yeah. So uh, I don't know what uh, Khalijan can you show that or uh, <laughs> <laughs> we're waiting. But anyway, do you have a couple of things to say? Why? Well, let's um, see if, he, uh, if he's going to be able to bring it. Just about the webmasters, just to there make you go. sure. Oh. So good. Good talk. Uh, webmasters, just to make sure when you if you Google webmaster, make sure to um, add LLC. Okay. Uh, well, uh, right now, um, so as you can see, we're talking about Fletcher Jones Motor Cars. Um, so uh, this is the, uh, the the service area, and this is actually their showroom. And so, um, and then also, uh, you saw a quick picture of uh, Mr. Ray Wahab. Mm -hmm. And as I said, on the 15th, we're going to go and uh, see them, mm -hmm. and when they're actually going to have uh, the Porsche dealership mm -hmm. opened. So it's going to be a grand opening, a lot of uh, f food a lot and a lot of festivities. Mm -hmm. uh, so we're really delighted that they're part of this team and they have believed in our story and, and, they're, and they're helping us mm -hmm. in terms of what we need to achieve. So once again, uh, it's the Mercedes-Benz dealership in Fremont. It's called the uh, Fletcher Jones uh, Motor Cars. Mm -hmm. And, uh, and uh, any final thoughts before we wrap to tonight's show? No, it was a great show. Uh, we're, gonna, we're looking forward to work with uh, Webmasters LLC. And uh, do you have their phone number? Do you want to? Uh, uh, Webmaster LOC, mm -hmm. I think it's, uh, yes, I do have their telephone number. I hope so. Or, uh, or even if you send us email, uh, you have our email and phone numbers on the bottom of the page. Um, if you have any kind of businesses, a small or big restaurants or any kind of businesses, if you want to take it to the next level, you know who to contact. Yes, and actually um, you, uh, you have our general number, which is 510-470-1404. Uh, once again, it's 510-470-1404. Uh, you can actually follow me at Twitter at StingB30. You can also follow Olive at, uh, uh, what is it? Uh, Olive Behesh. Olive Behesh. <laughs> uh, and our Facebook page is uh, Facebook uh, slash BA101. 
so you can find Business Advisor 101 on, on uh, Facebook as well. So ladies and gentlemen, uh, thank you so much for being part of the show. Uh, we'll be back next week, and as I said, we thank Webmaster LLC and their team to be part of this uh, um, group.